Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. In today's video, I am inviting you to clean and decorate with me. The last time I worked in Zone 1, there were a few things in the dining room that I didn't get to take care of. So I want to do those things today. And I also want to switch out my buffet to dress it up for summer. If you want to see that process, keep watching. If you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. And tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So here's the deal. Drea at Clueless Mama D and Kristen at Kristen's Chaotic Life have issued an open invitation to all of us to join them in a collaboration to clean and decorate our homes for summer. So I thought this was the perfect time for me to take care of that dining room. So in addition to cleaning and vacuuming, I'm going to switch out the bunnies of spring to something a little bit more colorful. So let's get it started. I decided I really needed to clean my chandelier because I haven't done that in quite a while. I made sure that the chandelier was turned off. And I'm just going to use a solution of warm soapy water to clean the metal fixtures. I took the lampshades off and set them in the living room so that they weren't in the line of fire while I was cleaning the chandelier fixture. Set those there. And these fixtures were a lot dirtier than I thought. So I really tried hard to just make sure that the cloth was damp. I didn't want it dripping, just damp so that it didn't affect the electrical wiring in the chandelier. And then got out my toothbrush to scrub around some of the little crevices. And then of course dried it off with a microfiber cloth. This microfiber cloth came from the Grove Collaborative. And these white cloths are the different ones you see me using all the time. I was standing on a ladder and no one else was home, which is a big no-no, but I wanted to get this done. You're supposed to keep one hand on the ladder I had no idea light bulbs could get so dirty. Now I cleaned them with a solution of 50% vinegar and 50% water. And I made a point to keep my fingers around the part that goes into the light socket. And then once I got them cleaned off, I dried them off and I set them aside so they could dry for at least an hour before it was time for me to put them back in place. And then I took care of dusting the picture on the wall and those wall plaques. Thank you. 
and then I thought I'd better clean that little corner stand while I was in here. When I clean the dining room, I almost always clean the china cabinet, the buffet, wipe those down, and polish them, but I tend to forget about that little corner stand. So there was quite a bit of dust on it and some of the things that were on it. So I wiped those things off with a solution of vinegar and water and then just dried them off with a microfiber cloth. The wrought iron stand was a lot dustier than I anticipated. And once I moved it out, I was surprised at all the dust and spider webs that was on the floor behind it. So let's get that back in place. So once I got the shelf put back in place, then I replaced my little goodies. Now it's time to get the chandelier put back together. So I screwed in the light bulbs. And all was going well until this one. Now that's all done, I can get on with my task. I'm going to be very careful this time. I was able to find one other bulb, but if I break another one, I don't have any more. So I'm going to be very careful this time in replacing the bulbs and the lampshades. Now let's get the things off the buffet and get it cleaned up and restyled. Aren't these bunnies sweet, but it's time to put them away. I'm using the Howard Feed and Wax Wood Polish and Conditioner 
and I really love the care that it provides for my woodwork. So when I put it on, I will rub it on and then let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I'll take a lint-free cloth and wipe it off and buff it up. Now I'll get my lamps back in place. I've had these lamps for quite a while. I don't even remember where I got them from. But everything else that's going to go on this buffet, except for the greenery, came from Pier 1. So this is going to be my Pier 1 buffet display. I love the way they display things in Pier 1. And since I'm using my buffet top, somewhat for storage I thought why not display them very nicely and I just love the Pier 1 displays so I decided today was going to be a Pier 1 buffet display. One of the things I wanted to do was get as many plates on top of the buffet and display them as possible since I am running out of storage. And I also want to use some of my stemware. I love the red of these goblets and I just felt like they picked up the reds in the plates. And then that clear goblet has a nice little red jewel right in the center and I just felt like they really complimented the place setting that I was working with. And it's more than a notion to get all these things on the counter. You've got to get them spaced just right. I thought these lanterns would work well on the counter. I've got two of them, one just a little bit taller than the other to give me some variations in height. In case you're wondering what that little grumbling sound is, I think my neighbor's cutting his grass. I thought this extra little place setting up the luncheon plate with the bowl just really kind of helped to balance out the top of the buffet. And I'll show you how I put these napkins together in just a minute. But like I said, everything came from Pier 1 except for this little piece of greenery. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to place the red flower, but I decided it looked best turned on the side. And there I could store some stacks of dishes right there on that two-tiered tray. And then there's another flower to kind of complement the floral that's going on on the plates. And there you have it. So now that I've got all the dishware off the table, I can get the table cleaned off. And here it is, my Pier 1 Buffet display. So now here's how you fold those napkins. You just put the right size up. You want to put the one with the print on the bottom and then the one that you want on the outside on top. Smooth them out, pinch it up in the center, and put your napkin ring on, and voila! 
Now let me take this opportunity to thank Drea at Clueless Mama D and Kristen at Kristen's Chaotic Life for hosting this challenge. It's always a lot of fun when I can participate in a collaboration with these two ladies because they are both just so funny and they do a lot of really interesting things. Both of them are all about the mom life in addition to things that need to happen to manage a home, which you know I'm all about that as well. So it's always a lot of fun to participate in a challenge with them. And if you need cleaning motivation, you'll certainly find it here. I will link the playlist below as well because I love watching other cleaning videos because it inspires me to clean my home and also gives me new ideas about how I can clean and decorate here. So here's my question for you. What part of today's cleaning adventure or decorating adventure do you have a question about? Do you like my Pier 1 look? Tell me in the comments section below. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years. And I'm a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.